Okie dokie, back for another round of painting boys. But this time I got them all done. Except for this guy. I'm still waiting on my cousin to uh, tell me the colors he would like this guy to be. There, he's in focus. So, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna paint him like his uh, favorite G.I. Joe character, Beachhead. So I'll put him aside. So, I got them done. There's this guy. Me. Got that guy done. This guy. Got them all painted up. That guy. Show them all off, I suppose. We saw the other two yesterday that I had ready for Agrax baths. And there's the hillbilly guy, got them all cleaned up. This fella. He's one of the monopose guys. And they're just cutting arm off. Stuck this one on. I feel like it gives him some attitude. And he's got a ripped sleeve. Same thing I did with this fella here, the beachhead guy. He was a monopose guy, and I just cut this arm off. Green stuff to rolled up sleeve, kinda. See? I don't know, looks pretty cool to me, I think. I'm gonna get used to that. There, let's see. Is that better? Look at my dirty fingers. At least that's one consistency you'll be seeing from me is my dirty things. <clears throat> I've got the dirtiest things on YouTube. There we go. Look at that guy. Butt flap. That's where he opens up his where he opens up his pants to poop. So I made a little bit of a playlist with uh, the bands that I had mentioned there yesterday. Psycho Stick, Golf Rockers, Primus and Glore. So I figured if I was going to mention anything about having a concert going, I may as well have the bands going that I talk about in the concert. So anywho, there's this fella. He's one of the monopose guys. I just switched his hand out with a different gun and I uh, switched out his stick bomb for a uh, mace. You know, why not bonk? <clears throat> I mean, if you got choppas, you may as well bonk, right? Here's the shooter boy I was working on yesterday. I got all his belts done. Jeepers, this thing's staying out of focus. I got this chopper, or this shooter done, sorry. And I painted the gun belt red, another gun belt red, pack red, and a yellow one. Just to, you know, get a little flashy, I guess. And there we go. And now we're going to do one of my favorite parts of miniature painting. And that's giving them an Agrax bath. Mmm, yes. I pre-shook it so now you won't have to listen to me uh, slap that around. Alrighty. Now this is by no means a tutorial on how to add Agrax, I just kind of slop it on. So let's do this. I know I'm not in, or I don't have the dude in focus, so. Let's see, zoom in a bit maybe. How's that? Yeah. 
split you guys up a bit so I got some room here to put my hands. Actually, let's just move you all this way. <clears throat> this part's kind of relatively brain dead because I'm not particularly brain dead. I, don't, I, I just don't, um, I don't worry too much when I'm doing it. That's all. I'll just do this. Do that. Get some more. Get a bunch on there. And you just don't let it pool too much in areas. This little brush that I got here, I find it does a lot of coverage and it doesn't uh, make it pool too much. Just an old medium layer brush that I got that kind of went to went to the dogs. So if I do that, it goes in all the recesses, all the nooks and crannies. Makes it look dirty. Forks aren't particularly too clean anyway. They supposedly stink, so. Let's do his face. And his mouth. Just gotta avoid the metal parts that I did already. But if it does hit that, it's no big deal. I can just get my brush wet and wick it away. Blind fire. This is one of the parts that got me into, really into miniature painting. Because <clears throat> I was always curious about it. A friend of mine, Chris Brake, he uh, got me introduced to the world of miniature painting. He showed me his little minis. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I was like, hey, I want to do that too. But I don't think I could paint as good as he can. Then I saw this stuff. I watched a uh, how to paint Gazgul Thraka. It's my first video. It was the first mini I painted. Kind of an ambitious endeavor to paint the Grand Warlord himself first, but it was the one that I tried to tackle right away. As I watched the painting coach show this stuff, the Agrax Earthshade. Kind of how it just does all the shading and stuff for you. You know, got to just got to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't pool, right? And, uh, as you can see, it kind of just goes in all the cracks. And it looks cool. Anyway, my favorite part. Because you can kind of be just vigorous with it. And it kind of goes along with my shaky hands as well. Because uh, then I can just shake and just do it. And remember in there when I was saying, oh, you should just painting there. Oh, I put my finger on it. Whoops. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to stuff it in there. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. 
blaming God, blaming you, never blaming me. Let's play. Do 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 do. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie, sorry guys. I went the wrong way with my brush or my miniature. I wasn't in focus. There we go. Uh, just go over his fingers. Some primes. delicate with some of these other parts so get out my little layer brush my small layer brush <clears throat> that is slowly getting destroyed that's all right I think I got another one on the back burner oops I almost dropped him Shaking my hands out, holy cow. See, if my hands can shake this bad, <clears throat> if I have to hold my hands like this, if I have to hold my hands like this, cradle them, like I'm praying to some kind of weird deity. And I can still paint, then there's, you know, no reason you can't if you don't if you think you can't. You know what I mean? You just gotta believe in yourself. The last salmon man. Yeah, that's good enough. Put him over there. Actually, I don't think I got his gun belt at the top there. So, let's just do this real quick. Blorp. Um, a blorp. Flip him around. Blorp under here. Do some blind fire. Run it along the side here. Just to get it on the side. There. Oh yeah. Turn that off. Oh. Uh. Excuse me. Pardon me. <clears throat> That's what happens when I drink too much coffee too, and my stomach bubbles and gurgles. This guy should be pretty straightforward. If I just put my hand in there, yeah. Is that okay, fellas? What happens if I do zoom in all the way? Is that better? <clears throat> I have got the most, like, ghetto set up.
But hey, <coughs> excuse me. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> Sometimes I go a little different with uh, the skin shades. Like I'll, uh, instead of using Agrax on the skin, I'll use the Agrax on almost everything else. And uh, I'll use like Bale Tan Green sometimes on the skin or over it again with some wa flesh or orc flesh I should say should say I'm not too sure why my agrax does that it gets bubbly and I think it's because don't get mad at me for this but it might be because I had used it one time when uh, after I washed my brushes, and I don't think I um, properly rinsed off one of my brushes and some soap water got in there. So it makes like little bubbles now. So. kind of excited to do this guy because I wanted to see what the uh, boots would look like all uh, shaded up shit until you learn how to rock. And swallow the sun. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Blip, 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 blip. Another thing the Agrax does that I really like is it ties everything together. My finger just touched something. What did it touch? <clears throat> anyway, Ooh, another thing it does is that I really like is it blends all the colors together. Like, say, if. Uh, Say if I did touch around here, it uh, makes it all seem like it's all one thing instead of a mis big mistake. <laughs> But 
blub, 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 blub. Correct, but they eat it all the time. And now, I think I just got under this arm to do. Blurk. That's another thing, I'm not too particular when I do this because uh, when I go back in and touch it all up, bring up the highlights and stuff, it kind of just fixes it. For me anyway, you don't have to follow any of the stuff I do. Uh, uh, oh cool, got a little bit too much right there that I'll fix. Okay, cool. Now we're on to my dad's guy. Maybe next next video I'll show you the one that I <clears throat> I'll show you the one that I got my mom to pick out. Need a bit more. Slap it on. Slap, slap, slap. Blup, blup, blup. Blup, blup, blup. This is one of my favorite war songs. Everything is as it seems.
I like this war song because it just reminds me of just being perseverant. Except for me, the back and crack part, but. I mean. Although, <clears throat> kind of a sad song, you know. Who sent over a night on Crack Boulder and said, Way to go, welcome back to the world. Prophet had been so I profoundly lacked. Some God is a dick, but the world was just good to the kiss. Blow. <clears throat> Hell's full of pussies and God is a dick. The run was sure good for some kicks. <clears throat> there we go getting there do the face in a second get his fangs get the fingers put the egg wax on his fingers okay you got it Eh, short thing. Okay. Slap that up and blow. Ooh, another one of my favorite gore songs. The Horror Vig has a face. You must make a friend of horror. Horror and moral terror are your friends. If they are not, then they are enemies to be feared. That was my best uh, Marilyn Brando impersonation, everybody. Apocalypse Now, great movie. Pretty good movie, if I must say so. Even the remake was good. The Redux or whatever. I heard press to find that happen nowadays. Oof, that is a lot that kind of pulled up there. Right? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. And a bit too much. That's it. That's good. How was that? Sorry to mean scare you. 
ever together in dark concavity. I'll be a little careful with this fellow so I don't get too much in his iron gob. Don't want to get in his mouth though. Okay. Probably my least favorite thing about the old orc boy mo models is the uh the pose that the boss knob has or the um uh, i guess the knob boy he uh his arm is up like this and then when you glue it on you get this weird mold line there but <clears throat> I think I got it with the green stuff, maybe. Maybe. That's right, Sunny Jim. I ate a baby. part on his glove or I may have missed painting his glove but I'll just go over it once I'm done this aggro stuff and it dries That's all right. I'm gonna be going back. I'm gonna be going over that steel part with uh, some basilicanum gray or Templar black. Black Templar. I don't know. I'm gonna do one of those things and uh, make their armor darker, but shiny still. <clears throat> shiny and dark. That works. Does that make sense? In here, I can see why people uh, paint their miniatures. And sub assemblies because uh, oof, sometimes trying to get into spots that are tough like that, a little wonky. I find it a bit wonky. Nope, I didn't have enough on my bush. Lorp. I should make something for my uh, paint pots that so they won't flip over on me. I may have taken too much. Nope. I can spread it around.
Blorp. Big dirty wire on there. I could probably use uh, some dirt, uh, Blood Angels Red on that contrast, or maybe Null Oil. But uh, yeah, I kind of like the dirty look of the Agrax. Let's just go a little bit more on there. There we go. Whoops. Ooh, this guy will be straightforward. Nice wide open body on him. Or easy to access everything. <laughs> Put a bunch on. Oh yeah. Mm. Look at that. Going all over. Put that up there like that. Spread that around. Bring it here. Drag that that way. Just get a tad bit more. Fly around here. Like that. Bring it down here. Slap a bunch on the underside. Mm 
trying to steal something there. I sure hope that was getting caught up. I kind of got a little caught up in the um, Agrax in that. I had to pull it in close to my face. Blorps today. Not really talking too much. Guess I don't have much to say, I guess. I guess it is a little bit of a brain dead thing where I go door and I just shut off. I guess I just enjoy this part a lot. My brain shuts off. <clears throat> kind of digging how that guy came out. A little dirty. I'm gonna have to take some out of that eyeball. So I don't like filling in the eyeballs too much stuff. Because I got a little trick for doing eyeballs. Because seeing as how I find it so difficult to hit their eyes. Right? See how tiny that is? Maybe I'll show you the trick that I come up with. He's pretty, pretty dirty looking, I like that. But um, the trick I'll come up with, I'll take a white scar and I'll try to hit the eyeball as best I can. But normally I miss completely and there's a big white blop all around his eye. So instead of fiddling around with it, I'll take uh, some pork flesh a nice dark green where are you at this stuff I'll take this here and I'll blop it around the eyeball hopefully not hit any of the actual eyeball but it, it'll sink into the recesses of the eye one sec here it'll like sink into the recesses around the eye and hopefully leave the middle white and then I just let it dry and then I put uh, Blood Angels Red in there. But I might just do this one last guy for the video and then I'll just finish the rest off. Alright, here we go. Just because I'm rounding up to 45 minutes, I didn't think I'd take this long doing this. You know what, let's get a bunch like we did last time and just bring it up here and drag it down. 
try to stay out of that hole a little bit and I'll fill it up with a hole on my shirt. Another thing you don't want to happen when you're doing this is to uh, leave it for too long in one spot without, like, it's not that you gotta work fast with this stuff, too fast anyway, it's just, uh, it's better to just not let it dry in one particular area while you're doing it. like that. Oops. Filled in that hole a little bit, but I got her. I got her. Got her out. Let me hit the helmet again a little bit, but that's all right. It's only going to get the uh, Basilicanum gray. If you were wondering why I left everything so metally looking, that's the reason why I'm just going to go back over it with some basilicanum. And that'll give it a uh, more black look, blackened look. And it'll start to go in line with my uh, golf scheme, because I like golfs. No mucking about with them guys. Run in and punch you. Or headbutt you. Or bite you. Or chop you. Or stomp you. Not to say that I don't like the other, other orc clans. I do enjoy them. I think they're all cool. Death Skulls and their looting. I like that. Painting everything blue to make everything more lucky. And I feel like that's what my brother would be. He'd be a, a Death Skull because he liked the color blue. And... Blood axes, I like the blood axes, I think they're cool too. Just the idea of mati mi ah, militarized orcs that do drills and stuff and wear military hats and all that. And that's considered juvenile to other orcs, like childish almost. Or it's a uh, way for a adolescent orc to uh, stand up against the authority, I guess. If you're organized and doing drills and using tactics and stuff, then it's funny. See, I may have gone too long waiting for... I may have gone too long on the part of the pants here, so it might look a little darker. When I'm doing it. And that's the beauty of brightening everything back up. Let's do that. Just left that. Take me away. This time they might take me away. Wee. Need to go over the pants again. Who cares? Do it again. They may just take us all away. Who knows?
I got that. Let's do this to that. I'll make it too dark. I'm not really making it any better by doing that. Am I? I was just trying to fix it, but oh well. I did that, did that, all that. Did his face. Just didn't do this part of the belt. On the stick bomb. That's good enough. Huh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? Please talk to me, I am lonely. Um... There? Maybe? Ah, that's good enough. That is good enough. Look at this guy. Just look at him. Huh? Just check that out. Look how dirty his hand is. It's just as dirty as mine. But that's the cool thing. Guess what? I'll fix that all up. Oof. Look at that. That's a lot of... A little too much in that part, though. Not liking that. What if I did this? How's that look? Well, dang it. Let's just do that again. This guy's gonna be real dirty. Might be a little off camera. Yeah, there. I just did that right quick. I slapped some more on him. Look how dirty he looks now. Uh. Anyway, <clears throat> thanks for watching and uh, almost rounding up to an hour on this one. I apologize. Anyway, hope you all have a good day. I'll let this guy dry off. <laughs>